Hello guys, this is your reading, You Versus Them, for March 10th through the 18th. This reading is for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see guys. How did you feel about this person and the relationship? How did you feel about this person and your relationship? King of Pentacles. You thought it was solid? But then it got to a point where it got kind of stale. You felt like there was not much more that you could do to make this person happy. I do feel like you guys were in a committed relationship at least on your end um, but a lot of times I feel like you you sacrifice yourself for the good of, re of the relationship as well we have Pisces energy here we also have Cancer Scorpio Cancer Scorpio where is that coming from we have Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy here hmm anyway let's see how did this person view Aquarius in the relationship. How did this person view Aquarius in the relationship? Four of Wands. They were happy. They were happy. Aries energy there. They felt like, you know, you guys had what it takes to make it. You have what it takes to make it. Some of you, I feel like, are still, um, communicating with this person but overall it was like a happy time for them you guys were growing your connection you were striving towards something some of you could have been married to this person or working towards marriage with this person here <clears throat> what's currently going on for Aquarius what's currently going on for Aquarius Three of Cups, happy times. Have some of you just got married or is getting ready to get married? Maybe having like bachelorette parties or bachelorette parties, um, bachelor parties rather. But I, I feel there are happy times getting together, together having barbecues, um, going out and just having fun, interacting with people. I do feel like this is a joyous time for um, most of you guys here. Cancer energy. There's a cancer. What's currently going on for the other person? What's currently going on with the other person? Five of Cups. They're having some regrets. They're having regrets about something here. But with the five and eight, I mean, five and three, that's eight. Eight of Cups. Somebody's feeling emotionally drained. I don't know. I'm getting, I'm getting a sense that um, the person that you're dealing with has some jealousy issues. Maybe you guys are going out and having a good time with your friends and kind of just living your life and this person is sulking because you're doing that. Maybe they feel like you guys should be at home or you should have been at home if you're not with this person. Maybe they feel like you guys went out um, with your friends way too much for them, for their liking. But they're they're feeling very like sulky um, over those three of cups. I feel like they think that you put them, um, you know, second. Scorpio energy. There's Scorpio showing up and showing out. Here we go. <clears throat> what is the influence on Aquarius' situation currently? What is the influence on Aquarius' situation? Hmm. We have the five, I don't know, the five of wands in reverse for some reason. 
I think you're happy. I think, you know, for a while you were sitting in conflict. Um, you didn't really know how to move. You didn't really know how to be happy. And I think that you're coming out of that conflict and you're realizing that you have to do um, what you need to do to be happy. Okay? And not in a selfish way, but, you know, you have to put you first. Because you can't be with someone else and be happy if you're unhappy within yourself. So I think you're, you're learning that. Again, um, Aries energy here. Five of Wands falls back to the Four of Wands. Um, Leo energy is here as well. Looking out for you. But it's not a bad way. Okay? What's influencing the other person's situation? What's influencing the other person's situation? Page of Wands. Hmm. I think you've taken your focus off of them. I think it used to be all about them, but now not so much. I think you still care. I think you, I think you, um, you extend yourself to them, but you don't overextend yourself to them. And I think that's what the issue is here. Um, I feel like they need to stop feeling sorry for themselves because they're sulking. They're crying over spilled milk. Okay. I feel like this person wants to keep tabs on you all the time. What's coming in for Aquarius? What's coming in for Aquarius? What's coming in for Aquarius? The magician using all the tools in your little toolbox to make some shit happen. Gemini energy. Mm hmm. The magician is a very active energy. What you want, what you see, what you desire, you manifest that shit. If it's happiness that you want, you manifest that shit. If it's to be with them, you manifest that shit as well. Okay? So what's coming in for you is being able to put your desires into physical form. Put your needs into physical form. With confidence. You speak it. You believe it. You do it. It's coming in for the other person. It's coming in for them. It's coming in for them. Death. Scorpio energy. Scorpio Aries. I'm feeling here. Somebody with that energy. Very strong down here. Hmm. Um, what's coming in for them is transformation. They know that they have to stop feeling sorry for themselves and go out and get what they want. I feel them, um, you know, eventually embodying that magician energy as well. And I believe they already have it, but they're too busy sulking over here <laughs> to put that, you know, bring whatever it is that they want into fruition. What they're actually manifesting is some negative shit. Is what they're doing right now. Because this person has a lot of control too. But I see them, you know, feeling like this is not working for me anymore. And, and stopping that. Stopping those negative thoughts, those negative feelings. Ending that. And coming out of this a different person. I feel them changing here. If they were a Debbie Downer, if they were always riding your coattails or always saying things like, um, why are you doing this to me and stuff like that, I feel them changing from that type of person to somebody that takes control of their life. 
I feel them changing. <clears throat> what can Aquarius expect from this person? What can Aquarius expect from this person? Okay. What can Aquarius expect from this person? King of Swords. Taking control of their life. Not being so emotional. Um, being very logical. And I think that's probably what you were kind of looking for from them. Not overreacting in situations, but like using their um, their smarts, their intellect to to maneuver in situations and not just be guided by like just blind love or blind fury, you know. And I see them doing that. <clears throat> probably a little more than you would expect from them. Exhibiting a lot of air energy. <clears throat> what can this person expect from Aquarius? What can this person expect from Aquarius? Star, there you are. Showing up and showing out. For you to be there for them. You guys will definitely be there for this person in their time of need. You are their destiny. And they're yours. This is your soulmate here. This is somebody that's meant to be in your life. One way or the other. I see you showing up for them, being there for them, helping them through their um, tough times. And being there for them is not necessarily like physically being there for them. Because your energy means everything. When you come as the magician, I think it's radiating with them. It's vibrating with them. Okay? You're showing them the way. Alright guys, so... That is what I have for you guys, and um, I'll be speaking with you soon. Namaste.